Hi everyone, in this video we will see the sum product function in Excel. It is a very powerful and versatile function because this single function can perform multiple operations. In this video we will see the basic operations of uh, this function. Sum product means sum of the products. Product means multiplication. So here in this example, this is a table which contains all these columns. We have item column, unit price of each item, quantity. So in this video, we will see the basic sum product function, what it does and also we will apply for a particular item. So basically that is based upon some condition. So here we can see we will apply with a particular item and also with multiple items. So first let's remove all these data. So here in each record, you can see we have item and the unit price of the item and the quantity purchased for each item okay so to get the item total what we will do we will multiply this unit price with the quantity equal to unit price multiplied with the quantity enter and it will give us 200 similarly we will apply this across all the records so these are the item totals of all the records so now to get the total across all the uh, records equal to sum up basically this range then close the bracket and press enter and it will give us the value as 6680 rupees so now to get the total of all the records we are doing all these steps so we have done multiple steps so to achieve this total we can do using just one step that is using this sum product function equal to sum product and let's check the arguments of the function here the arguments are array 1 array 2 array 3 and so on and so on so here we are calculating the total so we need these two columns unit price and quantity so for us the first array will be this unit price column so select this control shift down then we'll press comma the next array will be this quantity column select this control shift down okay now close the bracket and let's see the formula again equal to some product e2 to e11 this range and comma f2 to f11 this quantity column so here the most important thing is the dimension of each range should be same otherwise it will throw an error so let's check it out instead of f11 I'll make it F10. Okay, so now the dimensions are different. And now if I press enter, it will give us the error. So let's make it F11 and press enter. And now it will give us the value as 6,068 rupees. So the same as the previous one. So our calculation is correct. So that is how the sum product function works. So this is the most basic use of sum product function. So what it is doing, it is multiplying E2 with F2, then E3 with F3 till E11 with F11 and then it is adding all those multiplications and it is giving us the result like this now next we will see with some condition so what we will do we want to calculate where the item is only item one so now we will add a condition in the formula so let's see how uh, we can do that let's type equal to some product again we have to provide the arrays so now the first array will be this item column because we need only item one so let's select this then control shift down it should be equal to item 1 so select this reference so where uh, we have item 1 now here the most important thing is we need to put this condition inside a bracket so brackets are very important so let's put this condition inside a bracket now put a comma now we'll see the next array so the next array will be this unit price column that is e2 to e11 then put comma then select the next range that is quantity column control shift down and let's close the bracket okay so let's check the formula again equal to some product b2 to b11 should be equal to f15 that is item 1 comma e2 to e11 here and then f2 to f11 that is this quantity range okay now we have closed the bracket and just press enter so here you can see this is giving us the blank value but what it was supposed to be let's put a filter here and select only item 1 so we have three records and let's select all these three records total values and here the sum should be 1310 rupees but it is not giving this value and it is giving us blank so what is the problem here that we will see come to this formula so here just check the first argument that is b2 to b11 should be equal to f15 so because this is a conditional operation it will give the output as true or false but we need only numeric values in this formula so we need to make it into numeric values so true will be converted into one and false will be convert, converted into 0. So to convert this true false into 1 and 0, what we can do instead of this comma, we have to put a multiplication symbol here. So now this will give us the value as either 1 or 0 based upon whether this item uh, is item 1 or not. If it is item 1, then it will give us the output as true. 
or else it will give us the output is false so for true it will be one and for false it will be zero so here instead of comma we have given multiplication and rest are same now let's press just enter it is giving us the correct value that is 1310 so if you sum all these values uh, it will come as 1310 so that is how we convert the true false into one and zero there are other ways as well if you don't want to use the multiplication symbol here and if you want to put comma the other way is before this bracket before this condition we can put minus minus so it will convert it into uh, again one and zero so let's press enter and it will give us the same value or the other way is we can also put one multiplied with this condition and register same or else we can put just int okay and it will give us the same result but i think the best way is instead of this comma we can put the multiplication symbol so some product b2 to b11 equal to f15 then a multiplication e2 to e11 comma f2 to f11 this is the correct formula now let's consider another scenario now we'll see multiple conditions so now we'll consider where the item will be item 1 or item 2 so just remove this filter and here we will take both item 1 and item 2 so we have five records so if you sum all these values it will come as 2670 rupees let's first remove the filter here and apply the formula here equal to sum product again the first area will be this item column b2 to b11 should be equal to item 1 that is e16 again brackets are important let's put a bracket here then the next condition item 2 here we are considering the records where item is item 1 or item 2 so here we have or condition so for or condition we will use the plus symbol so for or condition we will use the plus symbol and for end condition we will use the multiplication symbol okay so plus again let's take this range b2 to b11 should be equal to item 2 that is f16 again let's put the bracket here so now we have two conditions b2 to b11 should be equal to e16 that is item 1 plus that is or it should be equal to item 2 so either item 1 or item 2 again we have to put this whole condition inside a bracket okay let's put a bracket here now we'll put comma and then the next array will be this unit price e2 to 11 comma quantity range that is f2 to f11 okay now let's close the bracket so let's see the formula again equal to some product b2 to b11 should be equal to item 1 or b2 to b11 should be equal to item 2 then e2 to e11 this range then f2 to f11 this range then let's press enter and we are getting the result as 2670 rupees that we had seen earlier as well if we put the filter again these are the totals and here sum is 2670 rupees so our calculation is correct so that is how sum product function works so those are some basic operations using the sum product function uh, in our next video we'll see some advanced formula using this function what are the other operations this single uh, function can perform thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video